Hey everybody, George the Tech here, and look who I ran into at NAB, but Randy Thomas. How you doing, Randy? I'm great, George. You look fantastic. Thank you I very much. I love your look. I love seeing you anytime you show up at a, a big conference to talk tech and to help come save people with their own technology. <laughs> well, I have a stylist who actually is also my camera operator, so that yes, really helps. <laughs> I know. You look good. Good job, Maxine. <laughs> well, NAB, I mean, your, your history in broadcast goes way back, but why are you here at this NAB? What's, what's going on with you? I was invited by Get Valerie Geller and Josh Miley from the NAB broadcast area and podcasting. They invited me to come be on a couple of panels and to actually record my podcast, which we did. They have a little uh, podcast booth. It's sort of glass walled, but the top is open. It's like being in a fish tank? Yeah, like that would have driven you nuts because we could hear all the ambient noise from the room. And then when they would uh, stream you live with video cameras, oh. you could really hear the something happens in your headphones. It you made me bounce? crazy. Yeah, the bounce. Well, you're used to being in a dead like yeah. dry announce booth. Exactly. So this lively bouncy sound is weird in the headphones. Yeah, because you don't know what is really tracking to the mic and you want your message and your conversation to be clean and clear and you just don't know. That's but right. we just sort of, you know, soldier went on. for it. Yeah, yeah, soldier That's what a on. professional does. You just <laughs> trust that they know what they're doing and you just go for it. It's all you can do. Yeah. What else is happening at NAB for you? Is that, did you make it up here just for that? I came here, yeah, to be on, because I have a podcast, as you yeah. know, the Music Connection podcast. Today, we taped an episode of the podcast here, Carson Beck and myself, Carson's our announcer. We taped an episode, which is episode number 30. So, Oh, you're 30 already. 30 weeks of, of podcasting. So it's still an infant in the world of podcasting yeah. because it can take years to really get a show off the ground. But um, every week we take a chance, we interview artists and Today, there wasn't an artist, but we kept the conversation around music. Mm -hmm. So I got to uh, record my podcast while I was here and, you know, check in with the folks from BSW and Sennheiser and, and see uh, just what's going on in technology. It's really interesting to walk around here. How has podcasting differed for you from your years in radio? It, does it feel really familiar or does it feel kind of a little strange? That's a great question, and I'll tell you why. When I was in radio, there was a thing about radio where we, you know, you'd never see what was happening behind the curtain. And we would pretend like everything was great, even if you knew all hell was breaking loose. <laughs> right. And everything is good, and you're just being professional. But in the world of podcasting, we would pull that curtain back, and we'd say, so this is what's happening, and we're dealing with this right? You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of honesty today in podcasting, not that broadcasting wasn't honest, it was just what used to be. It was a format and it had a, a sort of a veneer to it, I guess. The veneer, for example, I'd like to say that what happened last year at the Oscars with Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway, that is an example of what used to be. They were, certainly Warren was afraid to say, I don't think this is right. Instead, he hemmed and hawed, and then Faye Dunaway just said, you know, la la land, but that wasn't accurate. And because of Warren's experience in his life behind a camera and as a director and being in, in, in film, he kept it so the world would see this, you know, perfect thing. But as it turned out, it wasn't so perfect. And I guarantee you, if we had had a presenter up there, that was 30, 40s, maybe even 50, they would have said, guys, this card is not right. Someone would have run out and switched it live on the air, and it would have been like, wow, the people are talking about that. But that's the difference. We would have gotten it right. We would have said the correct movie because he would have sh pulled the, the curtain back and said, there's something wrong here. Warren and Faye did not do that. And that's just more old school, I yeah, think. Yeah, different generation. Yeah. You just you soldier on, the show must go on kind right. of thing. Yeah, the one thing that's consistent is that it's about having a conversation. It's about connecting then and now. I mean, the, telling stories, engaging, uh, being entertaining. Those are still the things you try to do in a podcast or on a radio show. 
Fantastic. It's really fun to run into you here. I've Thank been running you. to so many great people. And before you go... I love your George the Tech. This is a great little mic uh, uh, Mic flag, huh? I made I that up it. the other day with some paper and some tape. Thank you I very much. I think it's adorable. <laughs> I think that is absolutely your handle. And a George the Tech needs to come. I'm, I'm getting ready to move into another house. Oh, so I'm going to need okay. some help setting up my studio. We're going to get it right this time. Fantastic. Because I'm going to let it be there for a while. Fantastic. So we'll do it the best way we can. Well, before I go, another reason I'm here is I have a pin for you. Yes. From the Don LaFontaine VoiceOver Lab. This is a pin that's been given to all of us on the advisory board. And it was given to us in a meeting last week. And you didn't get to be there because you were working on the road. So here oh, you go. Thank here you. is your pin. I think I've got mine oh, on here. Up there. That's great. I didn't but wear a necklace That today. is your, uh, your, your pin. And then That's beautiful. It says DLF on the microphone. And uh, it's advisory board, which I am honored to be a part of. And the DLF VO Lab through SAG After Foundation. I'm so proud to be associated with it. And... You know, the work that you did is what enabled the lab to do so well for all these years. You helped create an incredible space there, George. So I was obviously you're I was, a founder. I'm only advisory board. You're a founder. <laughs> obviously, I was honored to do it and, and to see it now just have it on a life of, of its own. And as Paul keeps saying, we don't have to fundraise anymore, folks. We don't right. have to hit the bricks. Right. It's yeah. funded. Now we just find interesting things to do to, yeah. to keep the interest going. So. I think Don would be proud. Yeah, definitely. So Thanks, Randy. Thank you for that. Yeah, it's fun giving it to you in person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> George the Tech, see you around the web and at the next NAB booth. <laughs>